Joe's principal clarinet at the Kansas City Symphony. Hi guys, how are you? We're doing well. Uh, what are you up to? Oh, I just, you know, came to the hall. I'm going to practice on stage for the Mozart concerto a little bit. Do you want to walk along with me? Yeah, that'd be great. Can we ask you some questions while you come? Of course, yeah. So, on a scale of 1 to 10, how excited are you about performing the Mozart concerto? Um, I'd say definitely a 15. 15? That's high. Yeah. Do you get nervous? Um, I do get nervous, but I think a little bit of nervous energy is an important ingredient of any successful performance. Best advice you ever got from a teacher or mentor? Um, you go on stage, everything leaves you except for your preparation. That's you who took a lot. Uh -huh. uh, what's your pre-concert routine? So I don't really have a pre-concert routine. I just, in general, try to get to the hall early and pick out what reads I'm going to use for the performance. And I say reads because I usually use more than one read in the performance. Oh, wow. Do you eat dinner before or after a concert? So I guess that's actually part of my pre-concert routine because I always eat dinner. I never perform on an empty stomach. What's your favorite post-concert celebratory drink? Champagne. Have you found the perfect read yet? No, but I'm still searching. It's a good search. Is there such a thing as a perfect read? Um, I think, yes, I've had a handful of them during my career. How many boxes of reads have you gone through in preparation for this concert? Twelve. <laughs> How much does a box of reads cost? Um, I'd say about $25, which means that I've spent about $300 on reads so far. And there are 10 reads in a box, so 120 reads. How, oh, do you wish you could make your own reads like double read players? You know, I think it'd be interesting, and I kind of like the idea of like crafting something that you make sound on, but in the end, I think it would just be a big, tedious hassle. Have you found the perfect concerto attire yet? Yes. What is it? It's a secret, I'm not gonna tell you. Will you wear a different outfit for every performance? No, which means that I'm going to be doing a lot of laundry the weekend of the performances. <laughs> Will you be performing from memory? <clears throat> I thought about it, but I decided I would have more fun if I used the music for the performances. How long have you been with the Kansas City Symphony? Since September of 2008. What is your favorite part of your job? Getting to make music with my wonderful colleagues. What's the most memorable concert you've played in Kansas City? Well, I would say that this weekend's concerts are going to end up being my most memorable concerts. But before this weekend, I would say that the opening of Heltzberg Hall, our first classical series, um, we did Pines of Rome. What's your favorite piece to play in the symphony? Uh, Dances of Galanta. Ooh, we're doing that this year, too. We are at the end of the month. What's your favorite excerpt? Dances of Galanta. <laughs> Uh, favorite solo piece, Mozart concerto? Of course. <laughs> what would you be if you weren't a musician? So I'd probably be a psychologist, and I'm crazy, so I think I relate with my clients pretty well. <laughs> Sounds good. What's your favorite part about living in Kansas City? I like that it's not too big and it's not too small. What's your favorite restaurant in Kansas City? Blue Koi. What's the best barbecue in Kansas City? I would say Q39. When did you start playing the clarinet? I started when I was 11 years old and in fifth grade band. What instrument would you want to play other than the clarinet? So the clarinet is obviously the greatest instrument in the world. It's an undisputed fact. And uh, I think the violin is a close second, so I'd love to play the violin too. Excellent. I hear you're working on learning French. What is your favorite phrase in French? Uh, joie de vivre. What does that mean? It means joy of life. Mm, that's a good phrase. Joy of living. What's your favorite piece written by a French composer? Um, Daphnis and Chloe by Maurice Ravel. Do you have any advice for aspiring classical musicians? It's very important that you find the best teacher you can have. What is the best way to rest and to decompress? Uh, well, you know, I think that's different for every musician, but I personally like to play video games. What's the current TV show you're binging on? 
So I'm watching WandaVision for the fourth time. <laughs> That's a great show. Have you seen any good movies recently? I just um, watched Hidden Figures on Disney Plus. Really good. Why is this weekend the best concert of the season? Well, of course, it features the Mozart Clarinet Concerto, which, I mean, do I need to say more than that? But it also has uh, Stravinsky's Petrushka, which is another one of like my favorite pieces in the orchestral repertoire. Absolutely. Well, Raymond, I guess it looks like you're about ready to start practicing. So uh, yeah. thank you for answering our questions. My pleasure. Um, if you want to hear a bit of it, you have to buy tickets. I'm going to have to shoo you away now. Uh, all right. See you later. Bye.